if I go back to the labor market diagram, so when I put tightness and prevent size of the labor force, right? So here I can put my target. Which is going to be theta star. So we've said the optimal minimum weight would bring uh, the tightness to theta star. So we put theta star here. That's going to be the target for the optimal policy. The labor supply is not affected by the minimum wage, so we can draw it. Okay. So we know that hence our target here. So we know that the labor supply, you know, it's always going to uh, always going to, to be there. Uh, and we know that we want to implement a tightness theta star, so it means that the equilibrium has to be here on the labor supply at theta star. And so that would be theta star, and then we have also the uh, we have the unemployment we have the efficient unemployment level u stars that will prevail. Okay? And so here we want to find a policy that we want to find the minimum wage that brings us here. And so what's the minimum wage that brings us here? Well, it's the minimum wage so that the labor demand cuts the labor supply exactly at that dot that I've put here. So um, it's going to be something like this. So the you know the labor demand we want it to be exactly at that level. So that would be the labor demand that's uh, that's efficient because it crosses the labor supply just at the right at the right tightness. So that would be the optimal labor demand here. It's just at the right level so that you can achieve your tightness theta star and your unemployment rate uh, u star. And so the <clears throat> and we know that uh, the by choosing the minimum wage essentially you can control your labor demand because we know that by increasing the minimum wage you can depress the labor demand by lowering the minimum wage you can boost the labor demand. So basically there is just one minimum wage that's um, going to allow you to cross exactly here. So for instance, let me just give you two examples. Uh, so assume that your minimum wage is too high, then you know your labor demand will be depressed, something like this. And if your minimum wage is too low, your labor demand will be like too stimulated, something like this. Okay, so uh, this one here, that would be la labor demand, LD of theta, with a minimum wage too high. So too high in the sense of it's suboptimal, you know, it's not the optimal level of minimum wage. Because you can see the equilibrium. Here you have a tightness, it's too low compared to, of course, the objective of uh, theta star. Theta star is bigger than theta. So here your tightness is too low. In a situation like this, you know, the minimum wage is not necessarily always too high. In a situation like this, your labor demand here is in fact with a minimum wage W, that's too low because you can see that your labor demand is actually too stimulated here. 
il y a un équilibrium. Theta is actually here bigger than theta star. So it's actually too high. Here you have an economy that's too stimulating. Uh, so you can see that by you, your minimum wage can be too high or can be too low, uh, depending on how far you are from theta star. And the only place that's optimal, that maximizes welfare, is um, the one that brings the tightness uh, at theta star. And you know, you may ask, like, what is theta star? Well, if you remember from our analysis, of the labor market, what we've seen is that actually we have <coughs> an expression for theta stars that depends just on statistics that we can observe. So just um, what we have seen is that <coughs> theta star is, is given by statistic of the labor market. You know, we had seen that when we studied efficient, uh, efficient unemployment rate, efficient labor market, and theta star is 1 minus z, where z is the value of the social value of unemployment divided by epsilon, the beverage elasticity, times r, the recruiting cost. And that's just kind of a, as an aside. Um, okay, and so, uh, so your minimum wage can be too high, can be too low, or it can be just right. When it's just right, you get your optimal uh, labor demand like this. So, can we get an expression of the minimum wage? Can we figure out like, what actually is the minimum wage? Well, yes, sure. Uh, that's pretty easy by using the expression for the labor demand. Uh, so, let's call W star the optimal minimum wage. So that's the minimum wage that uh, maximizes welfare. So how can we find an expression for it? Well, remember, so the employment level uh, is given here. is L star, right? Uh, and so that employment level, L star, we know what it is. L star is just given by uh, the labor supply at theta star. So theta star, <coughs> we know what it is, the efficient uh, tightness. It's something that we know uh, is given by our formula. Okay, so formula is the formula that, has, uh, that we have uh, written here. That's the formula for our efficient tech. So let's say this is known. We've measured our statistic and we know how the labor market works and so we have a uh, formula for efficient tightness. So from this we can infer what is the efficient level of employment, you know, just through the labor supply. The labor supply evaluated at theta star. So with the expression we know it, it's f of theta star divided by s plus f of theta star times h. Right. So we know what is the employment level that we target and of course we also know what is the unemployment level that we target. It's h minus x star. So all of this is known. Okay. And so now we're trying to figure out what is the minimum wage that will give us that. Well, <coughs> we know that the minimum wage has to be such that the labor demand at theta star is just equal to L star. The labor demand when the tightness is theta star is L star. And of course the wage controls the labor demand. So there is one value of the minimum wage that will give us exactly that. And so, in fact, we can uh, solve for it. So the labor demand at theta star, we have the expression. It's A alpha. Here we solve it for W star, the efficient, the optimal minimum wage. One plus star of theta star. One over one minus 
Donc c'est un fan du truc, etc. Ok, uh, and you can see here you have an equation and you have only one unknown because a alpha these are parameters theta star is nl star they are known as, as we've just established from uh, the formula we have theta star and then we have l star here so the un, only unknown in this equation is w star So there's one equation, there's one unknown, we can figure out what it is. And in fact, if you reshuffle terms around, um, you, can, uh, you can get your expression for what, uh, for what W star has to be. So in fact, uh, we can start reshuffling uh, terms around. So if I, uh, flip, uh, if I flip both the left hand side and the right hand side, what do I get? Uh, so if I flip them, I get... Double du star, 1 plus star of theta star, alpha over a alpha, 1 over 1 minus alpha is equal to L star, is equal to 1 over L star. Then if I multiply both sides by 1 minus alpha, if I put in the power of 1 minus alpha, I get double du star, 1 <coughs> plus star of theta star, alpha, et alpha, so if I put 1 over 1 minus alpha, the power of 1 minus alpha, that's just 1, so this disappears, is equal to 1 over L star to the power of 1 minus alpha, that's just L star to the power of alpha minus 1. And then if I reshuffle all my things, I'll get that, <coughs> uh, I get that W star is equal to A alpha, L star alpha minus 1 divided by 1 plus tau of theta star alpha. And here we have uh, here we have our expression for uh, the minimum wedge. So this is our optimal minimum wage, um, you know, in this simple setup in which everybody is paid at minimum wage. So this is the minimum wage that would maximize um, welfare. So that, um, so basically, uh, if your minimum wage is below that optimal level, You want to increase it to reach that, and but if that's the case, it means that currently um, your labor market tightness is inefficiently high. If your minimum wage is above that optimal level, then you know you want to um, reduce it, uh, and that would be a situation in which currently your labor market tightness is inefficiently low. Okay, um, so this is telling you like how you want to adjust as a government your minimum wage, um, depending on what, where you are now. Um, so if, you know, currently your tightness is too low, so theta is less than theta star, which also means that your unemployment is too high, then what you want to do, then, you know, it means that So this means that your labor market is too depressed. You want to boost labor demand. So then you need to reduce W to W star. And in the other situation, your tightness is actually too high and your unemployment rate is too low. Then you need to increase W to W star. So that's what comes out uh, of, our, uh, of our simple model.